Hi, Paul from Power Wash Store here. Today we're going to talk about inlet filters and how they will help to protect your equipment. There are several types of inlet filters. We have what's called a T-type inlet filter, and you can see it's basically shaped like a T. You have your inlet and outlet. We have Y-trap filters, and again, they're kind of shaped like a Y if you hold them up like that, and they're designed to be like this, where the water flows through and the debris drops out. We have also what's called inline filters. Now here we have two different inline filters. They look pretty much the same. These are designed for direct feed applications. They have garden hose connections on them, but you can see this particular one is equipped with a bypass port on it that allows for the water to be uh, bypassed from the pump or from the unloader back to the inlet. Uh, one of the other thing I wanna talk about with these filters is we can discuss screen size. Now these, all these filters comes with multiple types of screen filters on them. Uh, this particular one has what's called a 100 mesh screen. And you can see it's a very fine screen filter on there. Uh, here's a, a Y-trap filter. This one has an 80 mesh screen. So what that means is that for every uh, square inch, there is 80 crosses of mesh on the screen and this one has 100 crosses of mesh. Now it's a little more difficult to see because 80 and 100 are pretty close, but when you get into something that has a little bit less of a mesh, like this particular screen, which is a 40 mesh, you're gonna see it's not quite as fine. So the screen mesh, one of the problems you can get with that, the finer it is, the more it's going to filter out. Uh, the problem with it becomes is if you have a lot of debris, uh, in your water, it will clog up very fast. Um, it can also be restrictive to the flow of water. So uh, in that case, if you are going to go with a finer mesh screen, you wanna go with a larger size filter to give you more surface area to allow the water to flow through faster. If you were to go with a real small Y-trap filter like this with a 100 mesh screen, it would clog up very fast and be restrictive to the flow of your water. Um, also on this T filter, you can kind of see this is a 40 mesh. You can see the difference between these two is, uh, is quite substantial. So uh, flow is important when choosing your inlet filter. One of the things that will happen on a T style filter is the water is designed to come in on the one side, on this case, and it comes in through here and drops right down into the center of the port, which is right down this filter down the center. It's designed to have the debris drop through there. What that does though, is every time you change direction with the flow of water, you create a turbulent effect in the water. So it kind of creates a little vortex in there. That can be a little bit flow restrictive. So typically upsizing your filter one size over what the inlet is on your pump will help. So if you have a half inch inlet going to a three quarter filter, or if you have a one inch inlet, uh, or a three quarter inlet on your pump, you go to a one inch filter. So one size up is typically all you need to kind of counteract that flow. Um, one of the uh, things that the Y-trap filter provides you with is it's a more consistent flow. It actually flows straight through the filter. So when the water comes in, it flows this way. This screen basically has a little bit here that drops in and the debris drops right down the center and the water flows straight through. So you don't get as much turbulence in it. That's one of the reasons we typically use Y-trap filters on all of our builds. Um, the other advantage that these uh, type of filters will give you um, is that they are easier to clean out. You can typically, in this case, on this uh, banjo style here, this has a little clean out port at the bottom. You can actually remove that and put a ball valve on there. You can see on the T filter here, we can actually take this plug on the, out of the bottom and screw in a little ball valve on there. So anytime we want to clean it, the same thing with this water trap, all we have to do is just open this valve up and it'll allow the debris to flush directly out of the filter. And then you can close it back up and go right back to filtering. So if we want to think about flow. That's another thing. When we're positive feeding, um, we don't really have that much of an issue because the water is typically more than the uh, more pressure and more flow than the, the pump is required to take. Um, when you're gravity feeding from a tank though, uh, you wanna make sure you always go up one size from that. You can see here on the clear view filters that are designed to be in line, they actually unscrew. There are 
two fittings on each side. You just put a wrench on there and unscrew them from there. A very small, fine screen on there. These will clog up pretty fast. That's why they make them clear view, so you have to take it apart to clean it. There's an O-ring seal on each side and a little glass plate on there. Uh, this is similar to a T-filter in that the water comes in the one side and has to come out all these little small ports here. So it is a little bit flow restrictive. Uh, but again, under positive water feed, they keep up just fine. So that is a little bit about inline filters that you can use to protect your pump and your equipment.